Austin Sierra Club. We have over 4,500 members here in the Austin area, and we are not opposed to art in public places. We are in favor of art in public places, just not this public place. This is the wrong place to put it. By show of hands, how many people don't want to see it inside the fence? Well, there's the vast majority. Democracy. And that's true also of an ad hoc in, un, in a, a unscientific poll that I've done over the last two weekends of people using the springs. Out of almost 100 people that I've talked to, absolutely none of them, not a single one, has said they want that inside the fence. Almost all of them say they're in favor of art in public places. When they were told that it might go in anyway, I asked, would that negatively impact your favorable rating of the arts in Austin? And they said yes. The last thing we want is to have our arts community that is so important to Austin, Texas, suffer because of a misplaced piece of art. We don't want that to happen. We want Martin Springs to be a wonderful piece of art. Furthermore, we always have a precedent set with Philosopher's Rock on the north side. Mm -hmm. yeah. Okay, that is outside of the fence. You don't have to be a paying customer to come, in, to come and enjoy that art. If it's outside of the gate, everyone in Austin can come and enjoy it. It's a place where you can sit and wait for your friends as you get ready to go to the, to the Springs. It's a place where people can sit and wait for their friends to come out. And that can be a wonderful place. If it's too sunny, we've got a representative from Tree Folks right here. And Mary Ann can have her group plant trees around it out of the critical root zone. And in no time, we have a tree-shaded mm -hmm. piece of art. Now, we did talk at length. And like you, I don't have time to go to meetings or every meeting. Because I already go to meetings every night for the Sierra Club. I can't make all of them. I missed a few of these. I miss the ones dealing with this. But 